टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू वीडियो सीरीज ऑन सोशल मीडिया एंड साइबर सिक्योरिटी इट इज़ अ ब्रॉड टॉपिक फ्रॉम द चैप्टर ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी आई टी फ्रॉम क्लास टेंथ एंड इट इज़ अ टॉपिक विच इज़ बींग टॉट इन ऑल द क्लासेस वेदर इन सी बी एस ई और आई सी एस ई इट इज़ बींग टॉट एंड इन कॉलेज लेवल ऑल्सो दिस टॉपिक has been introduced in bachelor's and master's degree because there are some rules and regulations which are implemented uh, by the indian constitution and there are there is an it law also that if anybody will post any any other person's uh, pictures or videos then he or she can file a case against that person so we'll come to the topic that is cyber ethics and cyber law for it class 10th now what is ethics the determination of right and wrong determination means it is a measurement through which we can determine the right and wrong right and wrong and following the right behavior using morals is called ethics means what are the things are which are right when we are using social media then whether we should use e other person's email id or photos or phone number or whether we can we will be able to make any pictures or videos of any other person so are these things legal or is there any rule to prevent these things yes of course there are some rules which are implemented by the indian constitution so ethics for computer users what are the ethics ethics means rules and regulations and what are the rules are there rules and regulations are there for computer users all computer users ability to use computer system with an effective efficient and ethical and lawful manner means we should use everything ethically if we are for example if students are going to computer they should use the computer very carefully they should use all the things from keyboard to mouse to monitor to light or fan everything that these are the property of school we should not harm these things or in other cases when we will go any other computer lab like for computer for online examination then um, those things are observed in under cctv camera so we should carefully use all those things those things will come under social ethics responsibility of computer users toward the profession organization and society is discussed by considering following points what are the responsibility of a computer user computer user computer user should not uh, should purchase only legitimate licensed software product means we should purchase only those software products those have license for example when we are installing ms office then we should have a proper ms office software package set up file in which we have the license key if we will have the license key then that uh, ms office will work fine and if you will install if you will try to install your ms office package from google then you will find that you are getting error or you are getting uh, some illegal things that you have you have to pay more money so we need to purchase a legitimate license product in which there are license keys are there and for which we need to purchase we need to we need to uh, spend some money user must install the software upon the terms and conditions stated by the software company when we are installing any software then at that time we are having some rules and regulation and upon which there is a tick mark to agree on those rules and regulation so before installing our software we need to read those terms and if we are comfortable then only we need to click on agree and we need to install the software users should not install more number of copies of the software than uh, authorized number of license copies available for example if you have a quick heal antivirus and three users are there and that is for three user then you should you should use only once means you should uh, you are able to enter the license key once only because that is for three user three user will install that 
antivirus. Should not download software illegally from peer-to-peer -peer network, internet auction or blog. In peer-to-peer -peer network, there is no concept of server. Every computers are connected with each other and they have the equal capability to share the network or to use the network. So in that case, we should not download the software or we should not use any other one's blogs or auction. Computer users should not perform unauthorized access means unauthorized we should not log in into another one's user account to take some personalized information. Now there, what is cyber crime? You can see this is the chart cyber crime. S crime against person. If anybody is doing any crime against an individual then it also comes under crime against a person. Crime against individual property. If anybody is trying to take your personal information or trying to take for example in our computer lab we have mouse keyboard if anybody is trying to take those things then those things will un also come under a crime crime against government for example we can see in newspapers that uh, there are in government schools computer labs many people are used to uh, take advantage they used to they used to th theft in the schools means they used to take the parts of the computer the laptop or mouse or keyboard whatever are there and cyber stalking or email spoo spoofing means there are people nowadays they used to stalk some people stalk means to follow they used to follow some people uh, means social media follow means socially what they are doing what they are posting what they are updating they used to follow those things this is called cyber spoofing it is also a mental disorder means if a person is looking after any other person's uh, social activities continuously he or she has a habit to do that it is called a mental disorder also now cyber vandalism or transmitting virus many people are used to uh, send spam messages if in you are using a gmail account and you are getting lots of email messages then you should not open the gmail uh, the email account or the emails if you are not familiar with the email address so before opening any email you should be aware that whether you know that email address or not cyber terrorism means uh, there is a term called at a time many at a time uh, all together many people are sending bulk of messages to destroy any computer particular computer or in a company that is called cyber terrorism now what is software piracy piracy means copy is nothing but copyright individual violation of software created originally by individual means somebody has created a software and somebody else has copied it and uh, selling that in the market for example there is a uh, for example a movie came at a time and somebody is copying that movie and making their piracy and uh, selling that in uh, 10 rupees only so that is uh, the that is uh, they are making harm to their business policy means they have spent so much of money to create the, those songs and videos and uh, some users are creating a, a copyright and they are selling them in a very less price so like this our social identity is being also disturbed types of software piracy piracy are there Borrowing or installing a copy of software applica application from a person means you have taken a software from a person and you are installing that in another various computers. Second, installing more number of copies of the software than authorized number of license copy available means now the third type of software piracy is installing and selling unauthorized copy of software while purchasing new computers means you are installing a unauthorized copy of a software means your computer is new and you are installing a software that is pirated then it will harm your computer system duplicating and selling copyrighted program means somebody has made some program by putting uh, lots of efforts putting their time and efforts energy and you are copyrighted those things and you are making anything downloading software illegally from peer-to-peer -peer network internet action or blog 
unauthorized written cds or dvds for mu music various software and utilities about this only i have explained that how people are copying anybody else data this is a image of a cyber theft means means there are person sitting there means there are lots of other ways through which a people can harm a person socially uh, means cyber si using cyber things like using computers using it things unauthorized access un access means authorization access means um allowed to use gaining access without user permission is known as unauthorized access means there are three types of access uh access is of three type that is let me write read sorry let me write read then write and then execute execute for x so there are three type of access either we can read some file or we can write there or we can execute we can write and we can execute that program and get the output so the example of uh, authorization is pdf file you can only read the pdf file whereas in doc file you can read and write at the same time and like any programming file you can read and write and execute both so attempting to get information like email bank account intellectual or other any personal and confidential information from unauthorized person is known as accessing the machine illegally if anybody trying to get access to your computer he or she is trying to take your confidential information through your email through your bank account through your intellectual property then that comes under unauthorized access now example of unauthorized access hacking financial bank account related to related information so you have you are trust you have a trust on some person you have a friend or you have a relative and you have given your personal detail you don't know how to use those things and these things are occur generally in some village area where people are unaware about the things and they used to ask for the information that whether how to use these things and how they can use those bank account and they can link to their account to the bank so at that time any other third person is getting that information and they are harming that person so stealing organization intellectual property you are working in a some organization and you are taking the personal information and using that illegal monitoring of information on by other user including mails and messages you are checking after the mails and messages of the company mails and messages of the company illegal use of break of login and password of other user you are breaking the password causing intentional irritation to other user by means of damaging software and important information you are intentionally means knowingly you are taking information of other user and you are harming them what are the ethics that computer professional should follow so there i had made you understand about what are the things what are the things are there in social ethics and what are the things we should follow so computer professional is obliged to perform assigned task competently according to professional standard there are some standard we should follow so i was teaching what are the ethics that computer professional should follow computer professional is obligated to perform assign task competently according to professional standards there are some standards in every organization and every organization have separate rules we should follow those things if we are working in some organization these professional standards include technical technical excellence and concern for social effects of computer and operators users or the public means excellence means these days people are demanding some technical expert people you should know how to use computer and what are the things we can use using computers we can make computer professionals should ensure that their technical knowledge and effort to create desired output are getting utilized in the development of society if we have some technical knowledge and we can find that there are people there are people who are unaware about the things like these days google classroom google seats google docs people 
should know how to use them because those things are very easy and very efficient to use those things are making the things easier so we should know how to use as a teacher as a professional as a student we should know computer professional should ensure that their technical knowledge and efforts to create desired that i have under made you understand computer professional are bound to operate on ethical grounds and with legal functions if we are working somewhere then they have some rule that how we can use a computer what are the rules and regulation and what are the authorization we are assigned they have assigned us some authority so we should follow those things we should not use any things which which are out of the authorization out of the authentication so next code of ethics what are the code of ethics code of ethics means there are some rules honesty what is honesty you know that what is honesty honesty means as a part of the decent behavior behavior that is netiquette user shall always demonstrate the truth while using internet means we should if we are using computer if our organization has given us computer they have given us computer to work then we should work there only we should not do any other thing now respect users should respect the privacy of the other user if any other are any other user are using your computer on behalf of you then you should respect their privacy and you should not try to uh, look uh, look about their email and their uh, personal things confidentiality users should keep confidentiality while using internet and not share any information to anybody which will be breach and users should not try to get confidential data of other user if you know uh, if you get any confidential information about any other user then you should not look after that that is called etiquette like we have some moral ethic etiquettes while we are going to our relatives house or if anybody is coming to our house that we should greet we should uh, offer them uh, tea and coffee and we should uh, respect we should uh, speak slowly nicely and we should smile like that only we should have some code of ethics while using computer also professionalism users should maintain a professional conduct and well mannered approach list of do's and don'ts for the ethics culture of computer professional what are the things you should do and what are the things you should not do first is use the internet to help the work required for the knowledge base we should use internet only if we need that use the internet to communicate the message respect the privacy of the other user download legitimate and authenticate program from the internet you use licensed software on your computer don't don't try to break into computers of other don't try to steal any personal or financial data on internet don't make duplicate of any copyrighted material like books magazine designs programs without the permission of the author don't give any personal information of yours or anyone on internet don't arrange to meet any unauthorized person met on the internet now define the term cyber law why the need of cyber law arises and or what is cyber law cyber law refers to the all the legal and regulatory aspect of internet and the world wide web cyber space is governed by a system of law and regulation called the cyber law we have some law or legal or regulatory regulatory aspect means we have some rules we should follow while we are using internet and those things earlier only i have explained what we have to do what we should not use we should not do so need for cyber law how people came to know that we should have some law why there is a need for this today millions of people are using the internet all over the world when many people are using the same thing then they will try to take some other person's personal information and for example when many people are working at a place then sometimes to take advantage to take advantage everybody think about themselves then they used to uh, 
to defame any other person's image they use their personal information so because of global communication internet is misused for criminal activity which require regulation global communication means people are communicating with each other so there is a criminal activity today many dis- disturbing and unethical things are happening in cyberspace called cyber crime disturbing and unethical things you are all aware you all are uh, in a mature you can see the things in newspapers also many things that p- uh, some people have taken somebody's that much account from the that much amount from their account and next people with intelligence and having bad intention are misusing the aspect of internet sometimes the people who are well known in the computers and uh, they have the bad in- intention they don't want to work hard so they used to take some shortcut to earn money the criminal activity include crime like harassment email cyber stalking sometimes some group of uh, boy used to stalk some girl and they take some pictures and they used to blackmail and ask for some money transmission of harmful program unauthorized profession or computerized information software privacy hence there is a need for cyber law there are lots of things why there is a need of for cyber law now we have it act 2000 I have told you earlier only at the start of the video that Information Technology Act 2000 has been implemented by the Constitution of India to prevent the unauthorized access of the internet. First one is access. Access with the grammatical variation and cognate expression means gaining entry into instructing or communicating with the logical arithmetical or memory function resource of a computer computer system or computer network access means whether we have the authorization whether we have the right to access the thing that is called access address address means a person who is intended by the originator to receive the electronic record but does not include any intermediary address means if any person is trying to take your information by hiding their address then you can file a case against that now computer computer means any electronic magnetic optical or other high speed data processing device or system which perform logical arithmetical and memory function by manipulation of electronic magnetic or optical impulses and include all input output processing storage and things to harm the other so any machine through which a person is harming the any individual comes under a uh, crime so we have it act for that now some other it act or also that like like computer network the about these things i will explain in the further video so till then please go through my channel like and subscribe thank you very much